In today's video, I would like to show you the largest mosque in the Central Asia and one of the largest mosques of the world, Grand Mosque of Astana. The majority of people in Kazakhstan practice Islam, which was brought to the area by Arabs in the 9th century. Ethnic Kazakhs are typically Sunni Muslims who mainly belong to the Hanafi school. Muslims make up about 72% of the country's population. It's crucial in my opinion to show you this magnificent mosque of our capital city. This is really incredible mosque which has resembling some uh, of Abu Dhabi or United Arab Emirates mosques. So in my point of view it looks like Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque which is located in Abu Dhabi. So I really hope that you're gonna watch this video till the end because I will try to go inside of this mosque and to show you why this mosque is considered to be the largest in the world. I mean, it is included into the range of 10 largest mosques in the world. So this is not just words, this is real things, so real fact. So that's why let's explore together. Let's go. So while I'm in Kazakhstan, in my home country, I feel like I'm somewhere in Abu Dhabi. Why? Because it's very hot during summer, it's about 40-35 Celsius degree and uh, Kazakhstan is, especially our capital city, is getting furnished. So many nice facilities, everything like made for um, their citizens. Everywhere you can notice a lot of buildings, nice buildings, decorations and parks and one of the best area I think that is going to be this Grand Mosque of Astana. Uh, why? Because this is the main tourist point of every traveler who comes to Kazakhstan. And just look at this area. They have a lot of benches where everyone have a, can have a rest and a nice plantations especially of trees. So even if we have a bit dry climate here in Kazakhstan, our government feels like putting a lot of effort to make it better that will attract a lot of tourists to explore more about Kazakhstan. This mosque was opened just last year in 2022 so it was opened uh, by the suggestion of our first president Nursultan Nazarbayev so that's why my great respect to Sultan Nazarbayev who put an effort to make Kazakhstan beautiful. So I really hope our new president is also doing great things. It feels like it's very important when in the country a lot of nice entertainment, attractions, tourist points, tourist destinations. So in this way the country will not never die. So a, a lot of people, foreigners, would have desire to explore our country. So look at this one. This looks like umbrella, so which protects from sunlight. This is really great thing, by the way, for the hot times of Astana. Nice bench. I really hope just in very few future, like in very coming future, maybe five years, this place will be really greeny. Wow, amazing! I just came closer to the mosque. I see a lot of people just in the entrance. Maybe for you it's not still visible, but anyways, I will go there. Oh my god, this is majestic, so much beautiful, wow, the main difference of Kazakhstan mosque uh, from Abu Dhabi mosque or somewhere United Arab Emirates mosque is our Kazakh patterns, Kazakh ornaments, so you might see it from the outside of the mosque all the gates, all the walls are decorated with Kazakh ornaments, Kazakh patterns. This is really incredible, oh my god. <gasps> wow. And it's very, very tall. 
so I have searched about the height of this uh, mosque so the dome the main dome in the middle has 90 meters height and these four minarets are 130 meters Fountain? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, it's too big. Yeah, it's really big. So I'm talking it's like somewhere in United Arab Emirates, right? Denise still cannot realize that this is in Kazakhstan. How old? Um, so this is your first time to go inside to the mosque? In Kazakhstan. In Kazakhstan, right? Yeah, last time we was in Turkey. Yeah, Aya we Sofia. were. Aya Sofia, you're right. Wow. It feels like if we had drawn, yeah, the view will be very perfect, amazing. Wow. If you want to explore any mosque here in Kazakhstan, don't forget to put on precise clothes like this, especially for girls, long sh um, like shirt, trousers, or you can wear long skirt, which can cover your knee. Uh, so, and especially this one very important it's respect to muslim culture um, islamic culture so that's why denis also even it's hot he wore jeans because we are going inside Oops. yeah some men i see wear shirts but it's not good it's disrespectful even they are kazakh i don't know why they wear that type of clothes they have to respect wow the main important thing also uh, to keep to be quiet whenever you go to mosque just keep calm okay wow by the way also this wooden door in the main entrance is considered to be uh, also the largest door in the world of the mosques it's 12 meters height. Wow, this is really beautiful. I love the patterns, Kazakh patterns. And also ornaments, yeah? Yeah, Kazakh ornaments. So we have here some explanations. Is there any English translation? Yes, English. Oh! The idea to build here new spiritual complex of the capital city using the funds of private investors was started by the first president of the republic of kazakhstan the sultan Azerbaijan. oh yeah only investors. only investors money oh great appreciate appreciations for all the investors yeah almost one year yeah. almost one year the opening of the mosque took place on august 12th today is august 8th yeah almost one year <gasps> wow, look at this door. And also we have Arab words from Quran. This is be very beautiful. So I have told you guys in the beginning of the video that this place is really majestic. So let's go inside. Oh, a lot of people. So dress code for mosque manners. So we have to take her off. Maybe we can put sadaqa. Yes, for sure. Sadaqa. Sadaqa means for donation. For the people who need money, the mosque will spread the money for them. Yeah, for sure. Let's go to that site and take it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take our shoes off. Yeah, we have to take it off here. Can you bring the camera? Phone? And you can also wear this one. Oh, yeah. Let's bring the clothes. It's very beautiful. And here also. I guess we can take one of these. Yes, please. Thank you. Wow. This is like 
made of silk. Gotcha. Usually many people come here as a tourist destination also from many chief parts of Kazakhstan. Yeah, because it's the biggest mosque in Kazakhstan in Central Asia. Yeah, yeah? it's, yeah, it's the, in the Central Asia, so that's why they come here. Not every city has this type of mosque. Even if, I ha if we have in my hometown, it might be maybe five times smaller than this mosque. Okay, let's go. Can you bring my yeah. backpack? I found that. Okay. Wow. So we are walking by this way. All the floor is decorated with Kazakh ornaments. So I guess we can go also to this site, to the main hall. All the all the window is decorated with stained window, stained glass. It's Kazakh Kazakh ornaments. Wow. The main point of this mosque is that the capacity is uh, two hundred thirty-five thousand people. It's a lot of people. Wow. Everyone taking picture outside. Here people come and pray for their ancestors, grandparents, with Molda. Wow, so much beautiful. Look at this area. It's very great that the floor is made of marble. Because it keeps cool, even outside is very hot. <laughs> going inside to the main prayer zone. Let's go. Wow. Look at these carpets also. Handmade with Kazakh ornaments. This is the main dome, really huge chandelier with stained glass windows, Kazakh ornaments. Oh my god. This is a really incredible, beautiful mosque. With the word Allah in the main in the main point. By the way, this carpet is also considered to be the world's biggest carpet, handmade biggest carpet. It has mm, about 30,000 square meters. Look at this, how they are connected with each other, all the parts of the carpet. This is amazing.
it should be dream for every Kazakh, for every Muslim to visit this Grand Mosque of Astana. Inside of this mosque, you will have the chance to explore holy places of Kazakhstan. And uh, here is some models of our holy places. Let me show you briefly. So first, this is Hoca Ahmed Yasevi Mausoleum, which is located in the city of Turkestan. So this is the time range. Look at this, amazing. We have been here, so I have the video about Turkestan. Check that video also out. So here is Arstan Bab Mausoleum, 1971. It's so what is here is Saray Shuk. Saray Shuk, considered to be our historical capital city. The time range of this capital city is 13th century till 16th century. So here we have the explanation, the medieval town of Saray Shuk. Everything is written in this description. You will have the chance to explore a lot of things. Ibrahim Atta Mausoleum. I haven't been here, by the way. It's in the Sairan village. What we have here. So here is also different mosques. This is Biketata underground mosque. Oh, I haven't been here. This should be my in my bucket list next time. There are so many mosques around Kazakhstan. At least five or six mosques should be in every city, in every main big cities. But for small cities or villages, there are, might be three or two of them. Well, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed exploring this, our Grand Mosque of Kazakhstan, which is considered to be the biggest mosque in the Central Asia. So, if you have time to come to this mosque, you will have a chance also to visit Expo. It's just over there. So, our Expo started to work since 2017. That's why I try to have time, great time and explore our capital city Astana. So don't forget to click the like button to this video and subscribe to my channel if you didn't subscribe yet and write down your comments down below. I would like to show you also many different countries, a lot of uh, places and a nice culture. So that's why stay tuned on my channel every time. Take care. Goodbye.